Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 20. Woo! <clears throat> so, I thought I'd give an episode just to update everybody on what's going on, because um, I've been working, going out at nights, hunting for creepers, and uh, <clears throat> coming in during the day and doing random stuff about the house. And uh, I've I've done some some work on the actual house. I've got an enchanting room up, which I don't want to show you guys yet because it's going to be awesome once I get the glowstone to make it look cool. So, um, I suppose actually we should go about getting to the nether in this episode because I've got a bunch of armor, I've got a ton of food. Might as well, right? I've got some arrows so I can go and um, hunt some gas, so I just need to make a nether portal and I need to find a place to do it. But I, I saw this guy here and I was like, oh, because he's so cute. So I'm going to murder him. And, uh, yeah. Because, like we figured out last time, if you don't, then <laughs> they uh, just disappear. So Now, I'm not sure if you get slime balls from killing them with, with a sword. You do. Alright. I mean, these guys I can just kill with my fist, but... It's good to know, just in case, you know, I'm in an area with a bunch of other mobs, and I just throwing around my sword. It's good to know that I won't... There's another one? And he sounds kind of big. Oh, he's medium-sized. Um, and also just because that way I can just uh, pull out my sword and kill the bigger ones because they take a lot of hits with your fist. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to find a place to put my nether portal and I'll, I'll grab some obsidian too while I'm at it because that's kind of important. And, uh, actually, this area right here might not be too bad. Just because it's open, it's a place that I go through a lot, so I'll have access to it. Actually, right here. <laughs> might even do the trick. Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> I'll get that up, and I'll see you again in a sec. Okay, so I was exploring, looking for some, um, uh, obsidian, and I found this dungeon here. First of all, it's at bedrock level. Like, like this this level right here is bedrock level. Which is kind of weird. And uh, second, its chest was like this. Which I've never seen a double chest in a dungeon before. Like, this way. I've seen them going this way, but I thought they were only supposed to spawn on the walls. So, that's a little weird. Maybe it just tried to spawn it in the same place over here, so it just moved it over there instead. I don't know. Either way, oh, I got five gunpowder from it, so I can't complain. I don't really want that saddle, but I guess I'll take it anyway. <clears throat> I'll just, like, uh, use it to um, get that achievement for riding a pig. But yeah, so this was interesting. Just uh, thought I'd share that. Now I'll get back to my search for Obsidian. Because, uh, yeah, this is the weirdest dungeon I've ever seen. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so... I just turned the volume down. Um, I'm about ready to go into the nether, but my my enchanting room is behind me. Like, right now, it's in this wall here. Oh, oh, there's a bookshelf. Okay, um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to see it, I guess. I put in sand where I want the glowstone to be. I, I'm not sure about this block, and I want glowstone on the ceiling, too, so it's all, like, illuminated, and you don't need the, the torches, and that'll be cool. Um, I'm always afraid when I'm near one that I'm just going to break it because it, it, I mean, it no longer breaks instantly, but I still don't want to touch it with anything but a pick, just in case. Um, I never actually explained what I have in these chests here, so from the front I have redstone and circuitry, which has, like, things like doors and pistons and ladders and rails in it just because, like, I put the rails in because, you know, you use redstone to mess with rails, um, and the ladders are just, like, so similar. I mean, look, they're, like, the same shape. I don't know. So I put them in there just just because they fit. Because, you know, we've got, like, these are almost transportation things. These are transportation things. And I don't know. And then I've got the buttons and levers stuff. And then I've got plants and food, which is just general stuff, including cocoa beans, just because I don't know where else to put them. Um, nether materials, which is empty because I've never gone to the nether. Alchemical ingredients. I've got a bunch of spider eyes, some sugar, some ender pearls, uh, sand, gravel, Gravel, again, dirt, other, which I've just been putting all of my excess crap that I don't want in. 
because leather is like useless to me considering how much iron I have. And then I've got three chests for cobblestone. I've only filled up, or I've almost filled up one, um, just because I know I use a lot of cobblestone. And I did add a third story that goes out to the front with a glass window, but um, not really sure what I'm going to do with this yet. <laughs> I just wanted to have a third room. I mean, I might even move another portal up here at some point or another, but um, right now I don't want its annoying sounds in my house. Um, and I put a, tre a pressure plate here so that I could just walk over it and lag, apparently. Um, I've got my s I've got some stuff here for the nether, I've got some arrows so I can shoot down ghasts, um, I've got a couple swords, which I shouldn't need too much, um, some picks, this one's almost dead so I figured why not take it, I don't want to take a diamond sword with me just because I don't want to lose it into the lava. Um, yeah, so I'll be back once, actually it's just like right around the corner, so, oh no, it'll take like a minute, so I'll I'll be right back when I get there. Alright, that didn't take too long. Uh, and here's the ceremonial lighting of the portal. Ta-da! Okay. Let's go inside. I'm ready for this. Uh, you can't open your inventory when you're in the portal. They changed that because it used to go really weird. If you had your inventory open when you went in the portal, it would totally best with this loading screen. So they changed it. Hopefully I'll spawn like in... Ooh, an achievement! I was going to say, hopefully we'll spawn in like a... Um, nether fortress thing, but apparently that's not going to happen. Um, destroy gas with a fireball. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Well, then I'm going to do it all the time. Okay. Well, I found bedrock, so I guess we're close to the bottom here. <laughs> so I'll go this way instead. I'm always worried that I'm going to go over my ten minutes because, like, even just walking places takes forever. So, I don't know. And this one's a dead end. Okay, I'm going to try to find my way out of this, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so this cavern is completely enclosed. It just goes a little bit that way and then stops. You can probably see the end from here. And then this side is just blocked with bedrock. But I did hear a ghast up that way, although then again, you can hear gas from any distance. So, um, or at least I believe you can hear gas from no matter how far away they are. So I'm just going to mine <laughs> my way up and out, because I am at the bottom of the nether right now. So um, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm out. Okay, well, uh, I didn't get too far before I hit the bottom of a lake of lava, so I guess I'll go some other way. This is going to be an interesting... I don't even know what to call it. Adventure because I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. So once again, I will let you know once I'm out of here. And there's another guest, so hopefully we'll be close. Alright, I made it out. Um, I hit lava almost immediately in the same direction that I was going. So I turned one way, and it looked like the lava was going down. So I tried the opposite way, and I came out up here. So, oh god, where did, the, where did I come out from? Yep, this is how I'm going to die. Oh, there it is, okay. Um, let's see, let's try, I don't know, I don't know what we'll try. Let's build a pillar, <laughs> so that if I need to find my way back, I can. Now, the mission today is glowstone, which, that's fire up there. Um, hopefully there will be some close by, I know I'm at the bottom of the nether, so this probably isn't the best place to look for it. Oh, they fixed it so that um, shovels harvest soul sand faster now. Uh, so I do want some of that, just in case. Um, this episode's going to be over pretty quick. So I will um, make another episode to continue on this one. And, oh god. Lag! Oh god, that's horrible. The lag just, like, I couldn't move. And... I knew there was a gas thing coming for me, and I was right next to lava, and I was terrified. No. Stop it. Okay. Totally just... My mouse wasn't responding there. Alright, okay, something's going weird here. And, uh, that's not cool. Because I'm in a really dangerous place right now. So, hopefully... 
I'll be able to save this video and then come back and not have too many problems. Um, so yeah, this video is over. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.